So my name is Ariel Murphy and I'm studying material science and engineering. So what I do is really cool to me at least. So I look at studying the effect of alloying in, on recrystallization and grain growth in magnesium alloys. So magnesium is a very important material because it's extremely lightweight. And so we're studying these materials for automobile applications and for some aerospace applications um, to reduce the weight of components that we use. Right now, there's really not a system that exists for predicting materials properties. And my work is a part of the Predictive Integrated Structural Material Science Center here at Michigan. So the hope is that my experimental data will be uh, used in phase fill and plasticity models to actually model the, be able to predict nucleation and growth kinetics. So I was a real nerd in high school, like a, a real nerd. And I, met a teacher who thought, who was like, you're pretty good at math and science, you should do science fair. And she explained to me that as a high school student, you could do college level research. So I started working on a similar project, looking at the effect of microstructure on mechanical behavior in aluminum alloys at the University of Alabama. So my mom would drive me the two hours to Tuscaloosa every week so I could do experiments. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I am an NSF fellow, so I had the NSF fellowship and I'm a Rack of Mary fellow. And I really am glad that I had both of those because it allowed me to really choose my own research topic because I really wasn't working off of a grant that my advisor had, I had my own funding. So that was a blessing and a curse at the same time because the curse was I was working on my own research so I was coming up with the, the plan and the ideas. But the blessing is like at this stage in my PhD career, um, it's really, it, I'm still excited about it because I got to choose what I wanted to do. I knew that Michigan cared about the graduate students and cared about them advancing in the development, but I didn't expect it to be as much as it is. And like, for example, I wanted to go home um, and host a robotics workshop at a, a rural high school in my community. And they were like, sure, you wanna go, we'll, we'll help you. Like we, you know, the funding was completely from the grad ed office at Michigan that, you know, that's all the way back in Alabama. That's not like a Michigan, I'm not going back to a Michigan high school, I'm going back home. And so the, just to get the support there, I don't think I expected for, for it to be the way it is. A professor asked me the question, he was like, it's not necessarily what you wanna be when you grow up, it's who do you wanna be? And that was very different. I never thought about it that way. And I remember thinking like, what are things that are really important to me? And mentoring, research, and teaching were like my top three and kind of being my own boss. So I really started to entertain the idea of being a professor more, talking to other professors in the field, especially young females, um, asking them about their experiences and how they got into it. And after that, I was like, I'm pretty sure that I wanna be a professor. So my goal is to be a professor at an R1 institution when this is over.